Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are here with the harvester on the surface of Minmus and we are ready to bring up fuel to the awaiting spaceship that I brought into orbit around Minmus, Spaceship One, our first decently sized spaceship. And so yeah, I'm going to try to top it off. I don't think this is going to do it. This will fill up like one and a little bit of the tanks. But so we'll need more than one round. But since we've already got this ready to go, let's see now. And um, no, I think it's going to be going prograde. So we'll just go prograde. It's basically equatorial. All right. So I don't think there's any problems. Go. In this case, we can just dump the ore into the spaceship's tanks and let it convert that. And now I got the stock waterfall effects working. And the problem was that in CCAN, uh, it required B9 uh, part switcher, and B9 part switcher wasn't 1.12.5 compatible. It's only 1.12.3, but I just told it it's okay for 1.12.3, it's fine. Well, we'll need to save some fuel in here for the descent. Maybe just the amount that we convert from the ore would be enough for that, I'm not sure. Well, those plumes are different. Okay, scooching towards it. Okay. We're going to go with this and see if that's acceptable to it. Hold it tight. All right. So. In, in. All right. And uh, maybe I'll just convert the ore now. 201 and 246 that have been converted and put into that tank might be enough. Interesting that I put it into that tank and not this one even though the flow, flow priority is the same. Oh, but it did the same amount there. So we've basically topped off one tank and then we have two, uh, three more in the main line and then there's other smaller tanks otherwise but probably to get to jewel we just need the mainline tanks though you know balance wise I don't know if that's gonna be great with the bobcats okay let's see if just this amount in the lander will do the trick oh oh there's plenty too much in fact um well let's not be inefficient so I'm gonna redock and put some back in. Four and thirty twenty uh, four hundred and twenty-three. Well We'll see if that's enough. Better be enough. Well, I'm gonna set up a descent for the daylight side. I'll just use the mop propellant and we'll replenish that with the converter on the surface. This time it will not be a coming straight down sort of thing, but a more legit landing trajectory. Okay, that's as tight as I want it. Okay, coming down, aiming for this little pit here. This is an oddly shaped sort of mound. Okay, okay, okay. All right, drilling time. And the power is enough to survive the night. Oop, overheating though. Oh, the radiators. Coming out of time warp with these things. Okay, needed to convert to monoprop now. Okay, that's the second load. 
Up we go again. Well, unfortunately the waterfall plumes for the terrier are apparently clear. Well, that's no fun. I mean, there's a limit to how much realism I want when it comes to plumes. So yeah, even though we got into a situation where we were tangent to Station 1, we haven't made use of that with the spaceship. We didn't bring it to the station. Could have, could have picked up stuff, fuel from the station, but it's no point since we can just bring it up from the surface to the spaceship. Figure that's a better idea. Oh, I knocked it. Uh, come on. Come on. Get magnetized. You can do it. Uh oh. Uh, turn. A little bit more. Come on, you're right there. There we go. Stock is gonna make me. Stock is going to make me sloppy when it comes to docking. That's for sure. Back down again. But let's see how much is in here. Two thousand two hundred and eleven. Still not enough. Oh, this has more containment than I thought. Hoping that it'll be enough to just fuel up the body. So that's two more rounds. I mean, really, one more round should be enough to give us enough to capture around Jewel. It'll take about this much to transfer to Jewel, and then we can capture with the amount from the next round. Uh, it's probably better to have some buffer so that we can make sure to hit a bunch of the moons. And we'll be gathering science, but we won't be able to transmit it back. We'll have a tender ship that helps top off this thing's fuel. And then it'll physically come back to Kerbin. Full tour. And then it might be refit, because hopefully we'll be unlocking new technology by then. Once again using the RCS for this bit. Might be a different location that we land at this time. It all looks pretty bumpy though. Maybe at the top over here? I mean this looks pretty flat up here. Well, that should guarantee a landing on that plateau. This one right here. Okay, we are down. Let us drill. Maybe some science? Let's see. Oh, it's still doing that. Ah, Midlands. Well, apparently we haven't transmitted this before. Is the gravity data? Oh, well, let's see. Review data. Okay, well, I mean, I could... Wait, that was Midlands. Why is this Lowlands? I guess we had the Lowlands sort of hanging out here. I'll just transmit it. I mean, we could try to recover, but for now... Now we can get Midlands, so I'll transmit that. We want good jewel science. Well, I mean, we could... Yeah, I mean, we just want jewel science in the science lab on Spaceship One anyway. I'm sure there'll be opportunity to get more science. Okay, well, start conversion. Okay, well, let's see if Ellen can get some stuff from around here. Oh, I guess that'll briefly make it less efficient because Ellen is not in there. Okay. Take surface sample, keep. EV report, keep. Well, we're on the top of a nice plateau. Let me just plant a flag. Ellen on uh, at the Midlands. Seems pretty high to me. I mean, 
It's the most Highlandish Midland ever. Okay, now let's focus. Uh, I think we get full on this crew report. We get full for that and surface sample I'll just keep. That deserves some crunching, but we will transmit the EVA report. Okay, now time warping to get to all the stuff. Okay, we are ready to go. But now there's more of an inclination change necessary from here. Uh, that'll be fine. Off we go. Oh, I've got to retract the drill. Whoops. Eh, fine, whatever. I'll take that. Made it all lopsided in my haste. Okay, slow down. Well, that's pretty good already. Ah, uh, a point, a point, a point again. Come on, you can do it. The larger the ships are, the more likely they are to boink. <laughs> I'm confident they'll eventually magnetize. Or maybe I should rotate a little bit. Uh, which way? This way? There we go. Okay, so. You know, I'll set this to high flow plot priority and see if the ore conversion goes into there. And then, okay. Undock. Granted, this has taken some time and is a little bit tedious. <laughs> we need bigger ore systems, but anyway, this is the first use of all this. And this has 4,000, it says. Do I believe that? <laughs> now it says 2,168. <laughs> what's, what's the truth? Hmm, I don't know. 4,000? 1,000? 2,168. I'm gonna, because we didn't even have this start out with 4,000, so I don't believe it's 4,000 at all. Right? Because otherwise they would have made orbit without boosters. So I don't know about that. I think we should probably go with this number, and in that case we need to go, go get some more. Well, we're really skimming close. Hold on. Oh boy, uh, how do we get this close? I was not expecting to be this close. Whoa, that's tight. Okay, but I guess it'll be alright. That did not look like 170 meters over the surface. But after this round, I'm going to try and send that to Jewel and see what happens. If we have to rescue them, we have to rescue them. Okay, we are down. Okay, full speed. Alright. Last trip to the spaceship, I think. We are going. Uh, maybe we could... Nah, we can't do the right thing. Or maybe we can. Uh, not really. Close, though. Up we go. Okay. That will do the trick. Yep. All right. Bit of a nicer approach than last time. 
All right, let's see how it goes this time. All right, well, it's still waiting on magnetism here. Peek. Come on. There we go. All right. Well, this leaves the core completely topped off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this over to the station and we are going to deliver the science that we had. Uh, there's a few things to surface sample and then that'll give me a chance to check on the science at the science station and transmit that. So what does this say? It says 6,000, which is total lies. 2,608, which is not great great. But I think I'll send a bonus refueler to do more with it. I think that'll be enough to get it there and allow it to capture and maybe swing by one moon. If it's telling the truth. <laughs> if it's telling the truth. Alright. So this, I'm going to get to the station. Okay, well, we're coming a little bit quickly here. Okay, we have docked. I'll just leave that radiator down. Okay, so let's see about the science. Alright, process the surface sample and process that surface sample. Oh, we can't even send that one. No, oh, it's not topped off, it's just that that's too big a chunk. We've already got 433 science waiting for us, so let me just transmit that. Probably we could unlock a better antenna for the ship. Let me go to the space center and see about that. Maybe we should just put a... if we could get a better antenna for it, we could have a Kerbal fly out to it, attach the antenna before we send it over to Jewel, and that would be nice. 61.2 million kilometers, is that good enough? Well, that's 70, so plus Kerbins, that means that's more like 80 something. It's not gotta be good enough from Jewel, even when Kerbins, uh, maybe when they're really close to each other, it would be good, but generally speaking, it's not good enough. Unless we have multiple ones. I'll unlock it though so that we can attach it to the tender that's going to rendezvous with the ship. Since that's gonna need to be unkerbled, I think. I mean, we could wait. Uh, by the time we actually go to get the jewel window, we might be able to unlock these. Okay, well, let me time warp to close to the jewel window and see. Alright, that's not quite a jewel window yet, but it'll give me some time to get a mission out to attach the antenna. Let me see if we've got enough science there. All right, we're topped off on science again. Let me get the other surface sample from the lander over. Oh, still doesn't want to go over yet. Okay. Well, maybe we've redone it. I don't know. Okay, better antenna. And we have some extra science here. I'm gonna finish up the 90 science tier. And finally get the separatrons. Then better mob propellant tanks, I think. The claw would be nice. Then there's robotic parts there too. And then there's space planes, which is a whole other thing. Do I want these mob propellant tanks? We want the pill tanks and the larger reaction wheel. Hmm. That's a difficult choice. I want both, but I, I think we'll eventually get both. But let me start off with this one. Okay, but a mission to get the antenna over to that. 
and then the engineer can plop it on. Well, first of all, checking the fit, I didn't really stack quite enough of those Oscar B tanks to fit this one. We could attach more, but any way you look at it, that Sentinel telescope is sort of getting in the way. If we have that, so maybe I should just go with the Commutatron. 88-88. Here, still sort of clips. Maybe if we could rotate it, or we could rotate the big one too. That would be nicer anyway. It's uh, It's got 158, which should be enough. It's got the same range as the big relay antenna, but it's direct. We don't need this to relay. I think we'll just carry the 88-88 and try to fit it like that. Okay, no messing around. This is just a very simple ant-engined probe that is going to deliver that antenna over to the ship. And we've got a swivel at the bottom plus fins, and that's that. So, yep. Yep, no big business here. Let's hope that this is enough. Oh, but, well, yeah, we don't need to dock or anything. The Kerbal's just gonna grab it. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and go! That actually should be like that. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, whoa, oh, I was too aggressive, I was too aggressive, okay, uh, it's fine, no, 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 okay, it's not, not fine now, it's going backwards. Come over here, come over here. All right, let's stump the fairing. All right, let's get rid of that stage. Okay. Whoa, come on, camera. We'll have enough. Okay, we are in orbit. Okay, well, let me just go. Alright, alright, we've got an encounter there. Alright, proceeding. There it is. Okay. Basically parked. Pilot Neri. We need your help. But maybe I should get closer, because Mary's going to have a hard time grabbing that. I think I can get better. Mary should be able to grab it and then nudge it along. Alright. Well, just put it on somewhere. Well, drifting the right way. Here, that's fine. Let's grab the other antenna for now. Let me put it off to the side. Or will that get in the way, I wonder? Okay. Alright, we can still grab that. Mm. Nope. I really need Neri to zap that though. I'm not confident that it's actually there. It's sort of clipping, but I think it's not too bad. I'll leave this other antenna, should I? It's sort of imbalanced, it's off to one side. You know what, maybe we'll give the Hitchhiker Storage Container a special special dish so they can watch TV or something. Uh, 
Okay, now Neri's zapping it. Hope that one's on right. Okay, I guess that's as good as we're going to get it. Alright, so we've done renovations to ship. And I'll just crash the probe into Minmus. Forward. Right, now we've got a nice bigger dish. Not aimed at anything in particular, right? Okay. Will be disposed of. So, alright, I think next time I'll send it over to Jewel. For now, I'm gonna leave it here with its improvement. There it is. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.